everybody! Today we're going to be making cat ear headbands, which you could actually make into any kind of animal ear headbands if you wanted. This is just kind of like an easy way to do a Halloween costume or a, the beginning of a cosplay if you wanted to dabble in that. Um, what you want to do first is get your main ear color, which is the big like house shape piece, and mark like an inch and three quarters or an inch and 0.75 um, on there because that will kind of give you a guide of where to put the inside of your ears. Now as I do this, I am not waiting for glue to dry. That's a problem. You'll see. You'll see what problem it is. Don't be stupid like past Laura. Give your glue time to set. You have a tube of E6000 in your kit. Go ahead, use that or use hot glue if you have it at home. If you've got hot glue, put the E6000 away. Just use the hot glue. The hot glue is going to be so much faster. It's going to be so much easier. It's going to make your life better. But I can't give you each a hot glue gun. Um, it just doesn't work. So I gave you E6000 instead. But seriously, hot glue this thing if you can. It's so much faster. So here's where you would wait for like, I don't know, half hour let this glue dry a little. I did not. E6000 is almost dry by an hour and completely set and cured in 24 hours. So if you just gave it like half hour, an hour, it would make your life better. So I stuck the middles on the ears. I am now kind of measuring out where I want my fold to be so that I know where to glue. Um, you can already see that ear center wanting to fall off because guess who did not wait for glue to dry? It was me. It was Laura. Laura didn't wait. <sighs> okay. So that's kind of how your ear goes on. And now I'm going to add yet more glue. I'm gluing the ear mostly to itself, um, wrapped around the headband. It's a little easier that way. Um, the headband will get glue on it too. Um, and eventually it will all be stuck together. But if you find um, that when you have let your headband dry, it kind of slides around on the plastic piece, go ahead and shove some more E6000 in the gap and it will make everything stay put. You have pins in your, in your kit, straight pins. Don't stab yourself, it hurts. What you wanna do instead is pin the ear where you want it to stay. So if you know you want it to glue exactly where you want it to be, shimmy it over there, stick some pins in, it will help encourage the glue to dry with the ear in the position you want it. That's important. You don't want one ear on the top of your head. And you can kind of reposition things as you go now. But don't wait for an hour and try and reposition it, because it won't. Go ahead and trim the back if any corner is showing on the front. Um, on the next ear, you'll notice I trimmed it in advance and see my ears falling off the middle of my ear. Because what didn't I do? I didn't wait for glue to dry. Life lesson, folks. Life lesson. But see, you can also trim in advance if you are a person who prepares which apparently I'm not wouldn't it be nice if I were wouldn't life be better if I were probably like I wouldn't put glue on the wrong side look at that oh, what a fail the thing is these ears turned out so cute when they were done that I feel like you should see my fails so that you can see that even though you fail in your life, that does not mean that your finished product isn't amazing. You can screw up along the way, it's fine. Crafting is like that, life is like that. We're getting philosophical today. So here I am going to repeat. Oh, look what fell off because I didn't, yeah. Mm, nice try, Laura. We'll glue that back on in a minute. Give your piece time to dry. Give it time. 
go watch an episode of Friends or something. I don't know. I don't really love Friends, but maybe you do. Maybe you'll find another show that you want to watch for 30 minutes. Maybe you'll just watch some YouTube videos. Maybe some kind of unboxing. I like watching people think, take things out of boxes. And I like watching people repair really old things. Like somebody I watched repair a Soviet-era, um, oh, what's it called? Anvil. A Soviet-era anvil. They took the anvil. They completely refurbished it. It looked shiny and brand new. You could be watching that while you wait for your glue to dry. That's all I'm saying. So get your glue where you want it. Pin everything in place to help it dry in the position you want it to be in. Pins are great. We love pins. And then if you're me, go ahead and re-glue your ear that fell off. You're probably not having this problem because you waited for your glue to dry. You watch them fix that Soviet era anvil. It's really cool. People do watches. They repair all kinds of stuff on the internet. Who knew those kind of videos would be so soothing to me, but they are. So that's what your headband looks like when it's done. So cute.